back or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is camila and today we are going to be getting ready for prom and yeah you heard me right we're getting ready for prom um so actually we're not getting ready for prom but we're getting ready for prom as if i was going to prom like if i was allowed to go to prom so like i don't know if many of y'all know but i am a sophomore in high school right now and only juniors and seniors are upperclassmen are allowed to go to prom unless i get invited which i don't think is going to happen but we're going to be acting like we're going to prom prom is in april and it is march still but we're getting into prom season and we're just going to be getting ready as if we're going to prom and this video is sponsored by jj's house so thank you so much jj's house for sponsoring this video because i'm going to be trying on some prom dresses that they sent over and i'm obsessed with every single prom dress that i got so y'all are gonna be in love and we're gonna get ready and i'm gonna try on all the dresses and i'm gonna show y'all everything we're gonna be doing our makeup right now and i'm actually gonna be doing my hair i think i'm a curler i don't know i'm not sure yet when i'm doing my hair but we're gonna be doing our makeup first and we're just gonna be talking we're gonna have a little chit chat we're gonna i don't know we're gonna sit here and talk and i'm not gonna do like much of a makeup routine I'm also gonna be taking instagram pictures which i'm so excited for because these dresses are literally so freaking cute okay so i already washed my face and now i'm gonna just be prepping my skin so i am gonna be taking instagram pictures by the end like once i get ready and i actually like literally called up a hotel um last night and i asked them like can i take pictures because girl if i'm gonna take instagram pictures i'm gonna go all out for my pictures like i love taking my instagram pictures so i literally called like two hotels and they were like oh actually like we need to go over this with our sales people i don't know but they were like they're not back till the weekend i was like bro because i need to take them today and today's saturday and so i called up this hotel and they said yes and i was actually very surprised like how they said yes so easily because they didn't like mention anything and so then i was telling my parents like you know i called up this hotel they said yes and my dad was like you know that hotel is haunted and i was like oh. <gasps> so i think they said yes super easily because it has like a history of being haunted and like i don't know i don't think it's really haunted but it has like scary stories involved with it so i'm guessing that's why they said yes because i guess there's people that go there and take pictures so yeah but we're gonna do it because it's a pretty hotel it's like very i don't know vintage not really but like i got four prom dresses and i think i got pretty good colors to be honest i got a gray one i got a lilac one i got a fuchsia one and i got a black one like i really like went out because i was like i'm not gonna get the same dress or i'm not gonna get like i don't know i was thinking of doing like all pink dresses but i was like girl like no like, i got really like different style of dresses if i'm looking over here it's because i have my mirror but i got really wide variety of dresses because i'm gonna try them on for you and i got like different styles of dresses i got some that are like very tight fitting and some that are flowy so y'all will be able to see that towards the end okay guys so i'm gonna be answering some questions since i don't really want to explain my makeup routine since i'm leaving that for a different video but i asked y'all like a long time ago for some questions on like girl talk and i'm still thinking of making that separate video but i'm just gonna answer a few questions that y'all asked me and talk about some topics so we're like on a facetime call once again because y'all are my besties i love all of y'all so someone asked is self-love really the best love the short answer is yes the long answer is yes um i feel like self-love is always going to be the best love like okay yes having a boyfriend is like super nice like you feel loved or having someone like be your partner or someone be like on your side and it does feel good like I think we all know it does because it's just a good feeling being like called pretty and stuff and like you know but like you cannot love someone if you don't love yourself i say this all the time and i praise on this a lot because personally i do love myself and if you don't you soon will but you just hear about people saying like if you don't love yourself you can't love someone and it's so true because you're gonna rely on a certain someone for happiness and you can't like just do that because that person might not be there forever like it's so sad but they just might not be there forever and when you don't love yourself it's more like a it's more hard on yourself because you start feeling insecure or at least by experience like you start feeling insecure about every little thing that it gets to the point where it's just draining and tiring 
<laughs> we don't want to go there because we don't want to talk about that right now. Okay, so I'm going to be putting on primer now because we're going to do our normal makeup routine. But I kind of want to try a eyeshadow look, but I don't really know how to do eyeshadow. Like, I don't know. I kind of want to just, I don't know what I'm going to do. I feel like loving yourself should be the first thing and not only to be in a relationship but more for yourself like don't force yourself to like have this self-love for yourself because that has to come naturally and be something that you actually want to do and like my best tips for you is fake it till you make it because guys there was a time where i was super insecure with myself every time i hear people like like just like influencers like oh there was a time where i was insecure or like i didn't love myself i'm like girl how you're literally so pretty it's so like weird to think about how like the most prettiest people have been insecure but i feel like everybody in their life has once experienced that and it's not a really fun feeling but you know what i did i faked it till i made it and now we're here a narcissist i'm just kidding but I feel like affirmations are like the best thing to do even if you don't mean them like once you start doing these affirmations they're going to become true and you're going to believe them and it doesn't have to be like I don't know you telling yourself like I'm so beautiful in the mirror like every day like yes you could do that but I feel like just affirmations and everything just not your appearance because beauty is not like all that matters like appearance wise like physically like i feel like it's more on the inside too and people can just tell when you're being genuine like that's the number one thing i feel like people can just tell when you are genuine with what you say and what you feel someone asked me how to get over someone um that's a hard question actually I feel like it all just depends on who you are. I know a lot of y'all followed me on TikTok. And I know y'all all saw that like two years ago, last year. I don't even know. But if you're an OG, you know. So, yeah. We're just... But I feel like getting over someone really depends on how y'all ended. Like if it was like very toxic, I feel like sometimes it's harder. Or if it was more mature, I feel like it's even harder because you really wanted to be with that person but I don't have the perfect answer to like tell you on how to get over someone because I feel like it kind of just happens and you start realizing that like oh I stopped thinking about them like you do certain stuff without thinking about them but once it ends it's like you kind of just feel there and you kind of feel lost and that's what I mean don't depend on someone for happiness you gotta have your own happiness you know what i mean feel like number one step into getting over someone is letting yourself feel like if you're not letting yourself feel how you feel like if you're sad and you're just closing yourself out and you're not letting yourself have those feelings or able to like cry and you're just ignoring it it's gonna hit you harder because it's gonna hit you when you least expect it you know like you could trick yourself into being over someone but once the time comes and you're with someone else, like, you're gonna remember, like, you're gonna get those thoughts, you know? Or when you're, like, trying to do something, go out with someone, and you're just gonna remember that because you didn't let yourself feel when you had to feel, you know? So I feel like that's the number one step into getting over someone is just simply letting yourself feel, cry when you want to cry, let yourself cry, don't close yourself off and make yourself feel dumb for feeling away, like... If you're with someone that was super toxic and you're like, oh my god, why am I crying over them? They suck, blah, blah, blah. Girl, cry. Like, I feel like we just all need to cry sometimes. Or if you're angry, like, do something that gets your anger out. Obviously, don't do anything too, like, illegal or don't do anything bad that could, like, harm yourself. But do something that, like, I don't know, gets yourself, like, if... I don't know, rip up a stuffed animal. I don't know. Like, get those feelings out that you feel because they're not gonna, like, go away. They're just not gonna go away. Secondly, I feel like romanticizing stuff is actually, like, really good because once you start living without that person, everything is just different and, like, 
the way you think is different the way you see things is different as well but i feel like romanticizing everything is super convenient and it just it lets you see the world into different perspectives romanticize literally everything like doing your makeup romanticize it i don't know going out romanticize it if you're going out by yourself romanticize it have dates with yourself and i feel like sometimes i fail to do that surrounding yourself by the people you love and by the people that are gonna like be true to you like i know like i want my friends to like feed into my delusions as well but if something's going on and they're not telling me like the truth then like why am i with them like why am i your friend like my friends are like obviously gonna feed into my delusions when it's the right time but if something's like going on and i'm like not thinking straight and i'm being delusional they're gonna be like you're delusional girly like don't do this you know what i mean surround yourself with people that are gonna tell you straight up and tell you the truth instead of surrounding yourself by people that are gonna like make you feel dumb at the end and it's not their fault but it's just like you want people to stay true to you someone asked me what is the worst part of a breakup mm, so based off what i was going i think the worst part of a breakup is simply mm, i don't know i don't know how to answer this question it's more so knowing how they were with you before i'm speaking by experience like i don't know how anybody's breakup is going or the reason why they broke up or anything but i'm speaking on like my experience and how i am and i want to be true to y'all and talk to y'all about everything noticing their changes like <laughs> just noticing the little changes into someone feel like it hurts the most and just again i don't know how people broken up i don't know how you broke up with your significant other but noticing their changes is just so sad because you just have this completely different version of like them in your head and once they start changing it's like pookie where did you go like what did you do like what did i do like you start blaming yourself and you start like thinking of stuff to do to like i don't know you just you start going crazy and it's to a point where you just feel drained like actual like i don't know you just feel tired like actually like i <sighs> if i didn't like go through that situation that i went through i feel like i would not be the person that i am today and i wouldn't like put up with people's stuff as easy as i as i did before before that i would like be like no it's okay like you know it's a one-time thing and it would just keep going and going and going and like bro like what are you doing like it's literally me what are you doing okay, and guys i have been using the Too faced concealer i love my elf concealer was just not doing it for me but i love the Too faced i almost said elf noticing the changes and noticing those habits that they've had have not changed and the worst part is when you tell them and nothing happens like bro like i'm giving you the chance to fix yourself what are you doing someone asked me how do i get clear skin i don't even have clear skin myself i feel like a lot of y'all are like oh my god your skin's perfect i'm like girl you're looking at me from here like my skin is has been it's been good like i'm not saying my skin has been bad but it has not been its best and it's had its moments but I feel like investing in a good cleanser, not even investing, like getting a good cleanser that works for you. Like you don't have to get the, like the most expensive cleanser. I literally use the CeraVe cleanser. Like, you know, expensive does not mean good. Sometimes expensive means bad. And sometimes getting the more drugstore affordable stuff works better for your skin. But I have always used the survey cleanser like i feel like that's always worked for me i also feel like taking off your makeup every night um i struggle with this sometimes like guys it's actually really bad sometimes i don't take off my makeup and my mom gets mad at me every time i do that because <sighs> it's so bad for you and i also say drink water i know everybody in their mom is like drink water like it's gonna help your skin out but yes it is true drink water like guys if you're not drinking water what are you doing like please drink water because it is so good for you like, and i say invest in a good water bottle like i had to like 
fake Stanley dupe before this and I would drink so much water. But now with my Stanley, I love my Stanley. Guys, if I was going to prom, I would have to be invited. Like, do I look like I'm going to be invited? No. So, hopefully we'll go to prom next year, guys. So, stay tuned. Maybe we'll go to junior prom and senior prom. Guys, I'm literally going to be a junior next year. What? I feel like I, I I feel like a freshman. Like I feel lost half of the time at school. Like I cannot believe I'm gonna be a junior next year. This school year went by way too fast. Like I don't think a school year has ever gone that fast. Or maybe it has. I just don't really do. Anyways, I got the Fenty Beauty contour stick and I already used it, but I don't think I use it. Why is there a bug in here? Ew! Here's what it looks like. I got the shade Mocha 03. Um, I saw TikToks on it because I didn't know how to use it. So I watched the little TikTok before. And she put some on like her forehead like that. I don't want to put too much. <laughs> I feel like I already messed up. And she put some like... Oh my god, I feel like I messed it up. And like that. That's so uneven. <laughs> took a little um food break because my head was starting to hurt and i was hungry so yeah i feel like i look disgusting but it's fine because we're gonna bake it so we look beautiful and we're gonna curl my hair i already have a hairstyle a hairstyle in mind i already think i know which one i'm gonna do i'm gonna do the little slick Thing. I'm gonna curl my hair off camera because it's gonna take a while but I'll be back when I'm doing like the actual hairstyle hey guys I'm back I put on some lipstick and I finished curling my hair it looks super cute but now I actually have to do the actual hairstyle so I was thinking of doing like parting this part and making that slicked back with gel and tying it in the back with these little rubber bands i've seen it like everywhere like everybody and their mom does this hairstyle and i feel like it look very cute very like formal i look more like i'm actually going to prom you know what i mean so then i put on lipstick i put on some lip gloss as well i never put on lip gloss i feel like i'm more of a matte girly but i was like you know what let's put on some lip gloss too but this is what my hair looks like i slipped it down personally i feel like it would look better if i had the little like pearl that everybody puts but there was no time for that but i feel like my hair really ties in the whole thing at first i was not feeling very confident about my makeup but now that i look at it i'm like it's kind of cute i feel like the lipstick really tied it in as well so the first dress that i picked out is this pink one do you see this color it's so bright and i love it it's so colorful bright it has these sparkles here in the front it's like a corset like type of thing and i feel like the color really pops like if you want to make a statement at prom like it's super super cute and it has a slit it is so freaking cute and it fits so good i got all my dresses in a size zero so this is what it looks like it is super beautiful look at it like actually like look at it like it snatches you up i would say size down if you wanted to snatch you up more but it is so freaking beautiful the color the slit okay the slit i put on some heels just to like get more of the prom style but i think it looks super pretty the color is so cute the detailing is beautiful and this is what the back looks like super cute obsessed is an understatement oh my gosh this dress is so beautiful like first of all the color oh my the color and then it has a little tail like i'm wearing heels and my feet are still covered like okay i don't know how to show this good enough i'm so obsessed with the back oh my 
gosh. Do y'all see how cute it is? Like, open back. I'm feeling very prom right now. This is the next dress. I absolutely love this dress. It's corset by two. It really snatches you up. Like, see how snatched I look right now? And it has like a slit. It's not too high up either. And this like kind of covers it. It's super nice. I love the color. This was a color of my Kinta dress. And I love this color. This color and pink are my favorite colors. So you know I had to get a color like this. And I feel like it really complements my body. And it really complements my skin color. And the back is also so beautiful. I don't know if y'all can see. But it's like a cross back open back i love it someone invite me to their like mom's container or something because i'm gonna pull up in this because it's so freaking cute and it's like a little v cut i love it and i love this about it as well i love this dress <gasps> i chose this one for last because this is the one that i'm going to be taking my instagram pictures in because i'm obsessed you see how glittery i mean how bling it is like it's so freaking cute hello snatches me up too like and it has like a little tail i absolutely love this dress i do you see like the amount of like bling 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 i love it it's so beautiful the back i'm actually obsessed and i feel so comfortable in this dress and i feel the most confident i think this is my favorite one so I chose this one for last and for my Instagram pictures because oh my god I cannot get over how much bling there is in the tail like ah, I love it I love it